Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining us today. Um, we're super excited, we've got the brilliant Penny Zacker with us and she's going to be talking about cooking outdoors and the amazing new Arga by Evo Professional Grills, which I am so excited to see in the flesh. Um, she's going to be cooking some delicious food, um, she's going to talk to us about how to cook some amazing things. Um, I'm sure um, you'll probably have questions along the way, so if you do, just pop them in the comments box and we'll get through as many as we can and hopefully if the technology works penny will pop up any second now and it looks there she is hi penny oh my god it is enormous and amazing looking i am so excited about this oh hi laura good evening everybody i know i was very excited to receive this actually and it's a great playmate out in the courtyard kitchen it's got to be said and yet it is pretty big isn't it <laughs> It is. It's it's much bigger than I thought it would be, and that's that is amazing because that presumably that's why you can get so much cooking done on it. Um, and have you been cooking a lot in your garden since the sun came out last week? Do you know, Laura? I've actually when I first got this, it actually wasn't sunny. It was in April, and the right was, dare I say pants. It was awful. But do you know what? I stuck an umbrella over it. I thought I'm going to go for this. And it's so enjoyable being outdoors, isn't it? And connecting with nature and your surroundings. That um, Yeah, but especially during the warm weather that we've been having recently. And I've been cooking all sorts of things on it. From breakfast, nice little lunches. I've even done dinner parties on it. Now we're allowed to socialise. So, And um, because we had those restrictions as well, Laura, outside... It was great because we've got the heaters on out here, we've got the umbrellas up, and this kept us warm as well. <laughs> really oh my God, well, it looks amazing. I am hugely envious, and I cannot wait to see what you've been doing. So I think you've got something on the grill already. Is that right? I absolutely have. You can see here the steam coming out, can't you, out of the little vent hole. Shall I lift the lid? Absolutely. Lift the lid, yes, I'm dying to see. Okay, we're ready. We've got a drum roll. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sure I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, yes, what I've got here is actually spatchcock chickens, and I've been slow roasting them. So, to begin with, I have them skin side down and uh, brown them off, if you like. And then I pop the lid on and turn the grill down to low so I can slow cook them. And what we're going to end up with is a real nice succulent meat on these. So, I've got four different flavours. I've got Mediterranean herb with lemon. Fantastic. One of my favourites. Um, mm. I've got some lovely tandoori style ones with um, like a masala sauce as well with those ones there. And then I've got some peri peri and some barbecue ones. And I love the fact you can cook in lots of different flavours at the same time. You've got so much space. It's wonderful. Yeah, it looks absolutely great. Um, and... So can you talk us through how how you use the grill sort of from the start? Yeah, absolutely. So if you just have a look here, this is your control knobs, okay? And you have a ignition, you have a um, high, a medium and a low setting. So you can actually control the heat really, really well. And um, underneath this solid uh, cast aluminium hot plate, you've actually got two rings. So you've got a outer ring and you've got an inner ring and the heat actually transfers across which is fantastic but you can if you wanted to set the inner ring on a lower setting than the outer ring or vice versa works incredibly well or just have one ring on if you wanted to um, it works on gas it's just the push down connection uh, really easy to ignite because just under here so you, you turn these to uh, ignite and then underneath is a little button you just push that down once you turn the gas on and it heats up five to ten minutes really really easy now before you actually even start getting cooking on it this needs to be seasoned again it's not technical it's really really easy what you need to use is a corn oil i put mine in a squirty bottle it's really handy you squirt it all over the top and then you wipe it in and you have um, this is actually part of your starter kit which i'll show you afterwards but you've actually got one of these that you just rub it in all over the top season it in you do that the first time and then you do it every time after you finish cooking and what you do is you build up a really nice black 
glossy layer on top of the hot plate, which makes it non-stick. Really, really easy to set up. So yeah, that's all you need to do, really. Great! Oh my goodness, I, that that's yeah. It looks it super easy to use. And what does the um, what does the Arc Professional Grill come with? Say that again, sorry, Laura. Oh, sorry. I can. <laughs> what does the Arc? I can hear that. Yeah, that's the perils of working outside. <laughs> yeah. Um, what does the Arc Professional Grill come with? Ah, right. So when you get this, you get a real fantastic cover. So you get the lid, all comes together, very, very easy to assemble. I'll show you the, the lovely um, cover, because this is really good quality. There you go. It's waterproof. And it's also got a little fleecy liner as well. So if you need to leave it outside, you can do when the weather's really bad. But to be honest with you, I think I'll be cooking on this all year round, to be perfectly honest. I would. <laughs> And then you get, you get the, this thing here, which is for seasoning and cleaning the grill. All right, so you've got a little pad there, and this is just to protect you from stopping you from rubbing off the non-stick once you've seasoned it, and it just gets rid of any kind of residue. And then really importantly is the scraper. So okay. when you lift the chickens off, I will have to scrape off any residue and it comes off really easily and it's always best to do it when the grill's turned on or when you've just turned it off. So I'll be doing that in a minute when we lift these chickens off. Um, you also get these little drip trays and these sit just underneath here and you can't see but any sort of liquid will drain off. This top is actually convex. So okay. It's slightly angled, which is absolutely fantastic because it means that your food isn't sitting in any grease or natural fats that's with the food. So that all drains off and all you get is real fine tasting and actually healthier food cooking in this way. Uh, you get two of these so you can use one and throw, throw, throw the bits away, wash it and use that one in the interim. And then you get these. <laughs> so these are your spatulas so it's great for sort of tossing things together um rice vegetables all those sorts of things so they're really really handy as well so enough to get you started most definitely i'm i so i desperately want one now i wanted one before but now i desperately want one <laughs> um and you're going to show us a dish from scratch aren't you you're going to cook up some fajitas for us aren't Absolutely. you is that right I'll lift these great. chickens off, which is great. And just to point out as well, because it's so big. I mean, I've got all meat on here at the moment. I'm going to lift these off now. And then I'm able to clean it off. And because it is continuously on, because it's seasoned, I'll put some more oil on. And that'll be ready to cook whatever else I want to cook on there. Be it sort of um, vegetarian or a vegan food on there, or even a sweet dish. It's absolutely fine to do that. And you can almost divide your sort of grill into sections and cook per section because it's convex. So you can make perfect sense. Yeah. You can do, yeah. You can do cheeses, you can do meats. It's really, really fantastic like that. So Great. Platters then, and I'll start lifting these off. So, oh, lovely. Loosen those up. Go around this way. So I'm just using one of my meat forks actually at the moment. You could use your, your big spatula as well if you wanted to. Oh, sizzle, sizzle. I'm coming around this way, look. 360 degrees. It's fantastic. It's great for cooking, having that sort of round work top. And it's also fantastic for serving the food off as well, Laura, because you know when you've got a lot of people around, it's great that everybody can just come and help themselves or even help you with the cooking process as well. So, let me start lifting those off then, Laz. All right, I've got them on some skewers. Ooh, I do with a hand. Laura, jump through the screen. <laughs> Let's pop those onto there. Oh, now that bit's come off. Let me show you how sucking that meat is. Use my spatula. I just want to show you the color of that meat. Beautiful really succulent so take those off 
go around this way. So big spatula. And off we come. I said to Laura, I think I've got enough uh, chicken here for a month. <laughs> really good. Let's pop those towards the back. Take the other ones off and then we'll give the grill a clean. Here we are. So the grill's set at low at the moment because I wanted to slow cook these. So uh, what I will do is keep it on low just for a minute clean it off and then I'll show you another dish really easy look at that everybody I could start up my own restaurant tonight out here couldn't I guys good job I've got plenty of friends okay and you just scrape that off there put that on there right so if you look on the top residue on there but it's really really easy to clean Laura so I'm going to use my scraper and I'm just going to lift it off like so really really easy look just comes off no hassle at all and what I tend to do is I just pop it into the tray there you go and I can clean all that up afterwards just with soapy water and just scrape that off and this is a lot of residue because we've cooked a lot of chicken. Normally you wouldn't have this much, but we wanted to show you tonight, really, the volume of food that you can cook on here. But I've been cooking for one, I've been cooking for two, I've been cooking for the whole family, I've been cooking for relatives. So it's, uh, it's real versatile. Let's get rid of all that. There we go, straight down there. So you, what you want to do is just use your scraper, any naughty bits, just scrape along and you can see here at the front it turns a little bit brown, that's fine because we're going to sort that out in a minute by re-seasoning the top. Let's get rid of all that. So still on low. Okay, now I'm going to get my corn oil. Now the reason why we use corn oil is that, um, if I can find it, what have I done with my corn oil? Oh, there it is. <laughs> um, it's because it has a high burning temperature and it's perfect for seasoning. Go on to there, and then I'm just gonna get my pad. So this bit first, then this bit, and then your attachment and you literally just do this honestly it is so so easy because it's circular you just kind of just follow it around look and what you're looking for is a nice black gloss over the top of your grill wonderful And Laura, that is done. That is clean. That is ready to rock and roll. There we go. A little bit round the edge. There we have it. All done. Take that off. Move back to the side. And we're ready to cook something else delicious. I'm going to just turn the grill up slightly. So over to here, turn to medium. And that's actually the setting that you cook most things on. And then back here. Are we ready to see another recipe? Grab my yes, Penny. Hi, I think we just glitched slightly there. Yeah, absolutely. I am dying to see um, the fajitas. I think you're going to cook next, aren't you? Is that right? I absolutely am. Yes, Laura. So I've got in my container here some lovely beef strips. And I've just set this to medium. And from low to medium, it heats up very, very quickly. And both rings are on that setting. 
So I've got some lovely slices of rump steak here. That I'm just going to place straight onto the grill. There we go. So straight onto there. Wonderful. And this is like enough for a big family, you know. You can see, once again, the volume of food you can put. There we have it. Okay. And then I've also got um, some lovely little kebabs here as well. I've got some halloumi ones with some pesto on and some lovely chili paneer ones. And as I was saying, because I've cleaned this all off, all that kind of meat residue has gone. This means you're cooking this side, there's no transfer of the flavour, so I can just literally just pop these around the edge, like so. There we go. Wonderful. Now, I should also point out that you can um, use wood on this, you can use wooden skewers because we haven't got a naked flame, so we're not going to catch a light or anything, which is great. Let me get my spatulas out, see how quickly this is cooking. So, another spatula. Have a go. So I'm just going to turn it. Look at that already. Looking so good. So I'm just going to brown it and sear it off. Oh, wonderful. Single layer. And you cook this however you like to enjoy eating it. So you might want it a little bit medium. Fabulous. Let me grab my other little veggies. Finger a little white. Fine, I'm going to get my seasoning as well, guys. So I've got some lovely seasoning here, some smoked paprika, some onion powder, some celery, sort of celery salt, some chilli. And now we're going to do the business. Lovely. And to that, I'm now going to add some lovely fresh peppers and some spring onion. One we go. Look at the colour on that. Beautiful. We'll add a little bit more spice. And I'll just come round here and turn these over. So lift those up. You can see they're beautifully brown. I'm just keeping the sticks over the edge. They're looking fabulous. Lovely. And I've also got some lovely sweet corn here. And um, I actually cooked that in the indoor arbors earlier on, just sort of steam cooked it. I'm just going to finish it off on the grill here and pop those on. Let's get those packages back on this. Oh, look at that. Looking absolutely amazing. really quickly oh yeah wonderful right we're almost there with that um literally a meal in minutes let me get my lovely hiatus out in a minute so we'll just turn those Wonderful. And I'll get my little corn plates now. So we'll pop those on here. You see, fit an awful lot of food on here. Turn that over. Another couple of wraps on. 
just move food around as well really easy. Those little kebabs at the front are done, so let me get my platter. Grab some guacamole as well, that goes really well. So I've got my little platter here and I'm going to just pop these little lovely little cheese on the side. Oh, amazing. I'll pop these ones here. Oh, so good. I love the little crust that it forms. Can you see that look? How good do they look? There we have it. I'm gonna turn the grill down now to low. And those lovely little sweet corns as well. We can pop those. Pop that on there. That on there. And then I like to serve this with a little bit of guacamole. Look at that. Literally in minutes. And then back over here to my wrap. Over. Beautifully browned, gorgeous. Okay, and then I've got a little gadget, and I've got a little rack. I like to pop these wraps on, so one of those, I'm going to pop it in my little gadget here. There we have it. And I'm going to pop some of this lovely beef and peppers in the top, like so. Move these just over here. They're cooked beautifully. More of that. Love it. And then what I like to do, I've got lots of little condiments here. Uh, like to serve these, but get them ready on the tray. So I've got some lovely sour cream and various other things. But what I like to do is add that afterwards. There you go. But I'm going to just pop some cheese on the top. There we have it. And then what I like to do is add my melting dome on the top. And what that does is it traps in the heat. It enables me to melt the cheese on top of the fajitas or it could be a burger. So everybody, that is how quick and easy it is to cook on your Argarivo. That's dinner ready, as I say, in minutes. Oh, wow. It looks utterly delicious and also a really fun way to cook. Very relaxed, isn't it, Laura? And I'm all for that. And I think um, we all lead busy lives. But even when I've been really busy, like today, I've had a really busy day. But I just stuck some cheese on here and grilled it. We had a fantastic salad with some continental cold meat. It was ready in four minutes, two minutes either yeah. side. Because um, it heats up so quickly as well. You can be really spontaneous with it. So absolutely love it. Brilliant. So just to, just to say, if anyone's watching has got any questions, do pop them in the comments box. I've had some questions come in advance. Um, I apologise if you've answered any of these as we went through, but I'll just ask them again just to make sure we've covered everything off. So the first question um, I've had from someone is, where can you buy an Arga by Evo Grill? Right, so it's available um, at um, the Arga website. Oh, Arga Living, is it, it is Arga Living, I think. Am I correct on that? Yes, I <laughs> yes, believe Arga you Living, are. As well as um, other outlets as well. It's a brand new product, very exciting. So um, yeah, head over to online and you'll be able to purchase this on wheels as mine is, because I like to wheel mine around the courtyard kitchen or I've got different gardens, I'm very, very lucky. Or you can actually have a tabletop version as well. Um, okay. You can actually have this sitting in an outdoor kitchen, you know, a static one if you wanted to. Brilliant. Um, you showed us how easy they are to clean, so I'm not going to ask you about that. But is there anything you can't cook on one? Because by the sounds of it, you can do just about everything. 
Do you know, Laura, I've even cooked a tartar tan out here and chopped it. Really? Really? Yeah, I think the more confident you get on cooking on it, you don't really mind, like, having a go at different things. And, you know, everything isn't perfect first time. Everything just seems to taste absolutely delicious. (laughs) (laughs) Great. Pizzas you can do on here as well. Um, You can pop your dough on, put the lid on first, the big lid. Um, get your dough going and then put your topping on, lid back on, you end up with a perfect pizza as well. I mean, you can fit the wow. pizzas on here. Yeah, it's a pizza oven as well. Lots of other things it can do as well. Um, That's amazing. So, there you go. And, and in the winter, you showed us the fleecy things. Is it happy to stay out all year round? Yeah, absolutely. It is an all year round grill. Absolutely. And to be honest with you, um, You've just seen me cook those lovely um, chickens on here. You know, I'll be cooking up a turkey. Why not? On Christmas Day. Yeah, I was just thinking about that. Yeah. Well, it gives you that extra cooking space as well, doesn't it? So if you're feeding those people, yeah. Yeah, that's... a domed lid as well. Um, It's it's fantastic to slow cook. You just literally just turn it down. Now, at the moment, this is still on, but it will keep warm. I could put the lid on. And it'll keep warmer for longer. You literally then just turn it off like that at the at the front, and you know people can just come and help themselves then, which is wonderful. You know, you can cook on rotation. <laughs> it's wonderful. That's great. Um, just remind me how long it, how long does it take to heat up? Between five to ten minutes. It depends what setting you've got it on. In all honesty, and also on the ambient heat. What I found on cold days probably takes about 10 minutes. It's a bit like your agar hot plates if you've got an agar indoors and you're familiar with the product. Um, and then when it's warm, there's a little bit of heat in there already, so they tend to heat up a lot quicker. So yeah, five to 10 minutes, no no longer than that, and it's ready to go. And how long does it take to cool down? Ah, good question. Again, it depends how cold it is, you know, outside. Um, but literally, that will stay warm on there now for a good 20 minutes. Um, then it'll start really cooling down. So, yeah, it's. Um, I always tend to put the lid on when I finish cooking and there's no more food on there. Um, and it's a very safe grill then to leave out, even if you've got kids around as well, I think. Yeah, and, and a, an inquisitive cat. So, that, exactly. <laughs> um, yes. Um, Arbor North Wales have just said looking forward to more delicious recipes, which, yes, I think we're all, I think we're all looking forward to seeing what more you do on this. Um, what do you love most about the grill? The social aspect of it, I think. I think most definitely. Because I had it during lockdown and because we were doing so much outdoor stuff, I found that this really brought everybody together and um, any time of year. And it is, I think, due to the design of the product, it's very interactive. What you could have, and I'm, I'm planning on doing this actually, is actually having an interactive dinner party where we have all the ingredients and people are just going to cook their own kebabs or their own stir fry on here or their own steak. And I just thought, you know, it's such a lovely thing. And um, family and friends are so important, aren't they? It's lovely to share food. And food is such a big part of many of our lives. And I think this particular grill um, ticks all the boxes for any foodie. Yeah, love of food, love of people, love of company, love of the yeah. animals. Yeah. Really no, ex- really. no, exactly. As you say, particularly now we're kind of spending so much more time outside. Um, I've only got a couple more questions. So if anybody else has any, do pop them up now. Um, do you have um, do you have to use special cookware? As far as the cookware is concerned, you get your bits that I showed you at the beginning um, to get you going. But actually, the fantastic thing about this is that um, cast iron works really well. And I know Arga are bringing out a series of cookware um, because this is such a new product. Um, They're they're developing, you know, a range as we speak. But this is the cast iron sort of skillet pan. works incredibly well. And what you need to do is season it before you use it with some kitchen paper and some corn oil again. a lot of my indoor agar cookware works incredibly well on this, Laura. Um, you know, it's uh, it's flat here and then convexes that way. So you don't need to worry so much about things having perfect contact with the top 
of the uh, of the Evo grill because um, the heat is that sort of generated from these two rings. Then actually, it cooks really, really evenly. You can see that from you know the lovely little breads here that we've got and the meat here. Um, yeah, no, in particular, I like to use cast iron. And the cast aluminium works really well from our cook shop as well. I've been using that. Um, and just cooking on the hot plate itself, that is your cooking utensil, isn't it? You know, one big massive grill. So you don't want to do much washing up. Pick some recipes where you just stick them straight onto the grill, I say, and use your spatula. Yeah, because you could actually cook everything from breakfast. You could do kind of, you could happily do a full English breakfast on there, couldn't you? Um, and lunch and supper and everything through to a midnight snack presumably you can even do things like make s'mores on there kind of melt um so sort of toast some marshmallows on there and just do everything absolutely in fact that is my naughty afternoon indulgence laura is it Yesterday, yeah i was asking about yes and i came back and I actually put my coffee pot on here you know the espresso coffee pot oh yeah there, made my coffee got some giant marshmallows and toasted them oh they were so good. I think I had a bit of a sugar rush afterwards. <laughs> they were exceptionally oh, sounds... nice and fresh raspberries. <laughs> really good. That sounds yeah. perfect. And oh, actually, thank you. Sorry, Laura. I was just no, go ahead. Even when it's, even when it's um, turned off, you can still use this. And I like to smoke on the Evo grill as well. So you can cold smoke on it when it's not turned on using something like um, this here. This is a smoke maze. And I've smoked some garlic on there. You just need to make sure the lid's slightly ajar. So you've got some airflow coming underneath the lid. And you pop that in the middle. And I've done some fantastic smoked garlic last week on it. Really nice flavour. Or you can also smoke in there as well using um, smoking dust, um, smoking chips, even using these cedar planks as well. So hopefully we might be able to get to show doing these on another occasion with a bit of luck. Absolutely. That sounds fantastic and fascinating. It's such an interesting subject. Penny, as ever, you have been marvellous. I have learned tons. I have huge envy now and I desperately want um, an Argo professional grill of my own. Um, if you want to see more of Penny's cooking adventures, you can follow her on Instagram. She's at Penny underscore Zeko. And um, I hope you've all enjoyed it. And I hope you've got sunshine where you are. Thank you, Penny. Lovely to see you. Thank you, Laura. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a nice Bye. day. Bye.